Hello friend, in this video, you will learn that how to make this bathtub using Blender 2.82. This is very quick tutorial as always. So let's switch to new window. And this is default scene of Blender. So press A to select entire default scene. Hereafter, press delete to delete it. Let us change unit system first. So under scene properties, expand unit section and change matrix from matrix to imperial then press app for top view press shift a under mesh select circle then click on this add circle and change its radius that is 15 inch ok now zoom like this press tap to enter into edit mode and select this half part of this circle then press delete and delete the this vertex ok then select these two vertex like this then press E to extrude then press Y to extrude on Y axis then minus 5 then press F to fill this vertex switch to as selection mode and select these two as then right click then subdivide again switch to this vertex mode select these two vertex then press S then X to scale on X axis select vertex like this then right click and select here bevel vertex then Increase number of segments and also increase offset value. Then press A to select entire vertex. Then press F to fill this. Switch to object mode. Now press 7 for top view. Press Shift A and select plane. Then press Tab to enter into edit mode. And also enable this wireframe mode. Select these two vertex, then press G, then Y to move on Y axis. Okay. And also move these two vertex like this. Now press A to select all the vertex, then press S, then X to scale on X axis. Okay. Switch to object mode and enable this solid view mode. Select this circle, then press G, then Z to move on Z axis little bit. Press 7 for top view. Select this bot mesh, switch to edit mode, then click on this mesh and select here knife project. Okay. Switch to object mode. Select this circle and press delete to delete this. Switch, select this plane, then press tab to enter into edit mode. Ok. And press 1 for front view, then press E, then G to extrude on G axis or Z axis, then press minus 1.5. Okay, then press, then press 1 for front view. Again, press Ctrl R to give a loop cuts, then press S to scale little bit like this, then click on this edge and select here this bevel edge and bevel like this select this ditch edge something like this and press 3 for right orthography view then press E then Z to extrude on Z axis like this again press F to fill this switch to object mode and click on this modify properties 
click on this add modifier and apply bevel modifier switch limits method to angle and here increase segments value something like this okay and also click on this object data properties under normal enable auto smooth then right click then set it smooth yeah this is perfect now press 3 select this cursor and keep cursor point here then switch to selection mode click on this add under mesh under single words select add single words switch to vertex mode then press e then z to extrude on z axis then press e then y to extrude on y axis now press e then z to extrude on z axis select this two vertex right click and select here bevel vertex ok now switch to object mode click on this object convert it into curve and under object data properties expand geometry option and increase bevel depth value like this ok and also increase resolution value switch click on this object and convert it into mesh now now press F3 sorry press 3 for right orthography view switch to object mode and enable x-ray mode then select this vertex then press E then right click to confirm it ok now press S to scale then press E then Z to extrude on Z axis ok now press F to fill then press I to insert it ok like this now press 3 yeah now press ctrl r to give a loop cuts like this and increase number of cuts then press s then z to scale on z axis like this disable x-ray mode and press ctrl R to give a loop cuts like this switch to a selection mode select this edge like this then press S to scale and press ctrl B to bevel edge switch to object mode and select this tab click on this add modifier apply solidify modifier ok and uh, apply bevel modifier like this and also change limits method to angle and increase segments value something like this click on this object data properties enable auto smooth then right click then set it is small ok this is a very quick tutorial about bath tub thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel